The world is a wondrous and confusing place. The advancement of science and history and expansion of our knowledge of the Earth gives us a more comprehensive view of our world than ever before. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at mysterious discoveries. Uranium at the Grand Canyon Considered one of the seven natural wonders of the world, the Grand Canyon is a natural attraction visited by millions every year. The geological marvel is known for its layered bands of red rock that expose a tremendous geological history. However, the landmark also holds deposits of minerals that have enticed miners for years. Uranium naturally occurs within the rocks at the Grand Canyon. Uranium is a radioactive material, meaning radiation is always present in the surrounding environment. A study confirmed that the amount of radiation in the air is at background level and is not of concern for the public's health or canyon spectators. Uranium mining at the Grand Canyon began with the uranium craze in the 1950s. Millions of tons of ore were mined from the area during this time. There are hundreds of now-abandoned uranium mines surrounding the Grand Canyon that have been polluting the geological wonder, as well as the homes of the Havasupai tribe. When the uranium market picked up again in the mid-2000s, mining around the area continued, this time leaving behind thousands of uranium ore claims. The water supply and surrounding environment greatly suffered from this, leaving the Havasupai people with a contaminated water supply. In 2012, a 20-year ban on uranium mining was finally placed on 1 million acres of the Grand Canyon and surrounding area to protect all that depend on the land. The mining ban also gave scientists adequate time to research the long-term effects of those radioactive mines and the severity of the risk to local people and animals. However, as of October 2020, there were still over 600 active mining claims in public lands around the Grand Canyon. On February 15, 2021, Representative Raul Grijalva, an American politician, introduced the Grand Canyon Protection Act, HR 1052, to once and for all ban new uranium mines around Grand Canyon National Park. It passed the House with bipartisan support less than two weeks later and is currently in the Senate. While this is excellent news, it is not the only uranium-related scandal in the Grand Canyon. From the years 2000 to 2018, three five-gallon buckets of uranium ore were displayed at the Grand Canyon National Park Museum beside a taxidermy exhibit. After nearly two decades in the museum, patron Elston Stevenson reported the buckets to a Park Service radiation specialist for safety concerns. After the report, the area around the buckets was tested for radiation and was said to have a higher than the background or safe amount of radiation. However, the reports found that the rest of the museum was unaffected by the radioactive buckets. Even though this was considered to be of minimal risk to employees and visitors, the buckets were removed and safely discarded from the display. Abandoned Town in the Great Smoky Mountains It might seem hard to believe that an entire town could slip from the public's memory. But the truth is that we likely cannot even imagine the number of forgotten, abandoned and undiscovered places that lie hidden on this earth. However, one American hiker stumbled upon an entire town of sorts that was hidden deep inside the Great Smoky Mountains. Jordan Lyles was on a seemingly ordinary hike through a trail in the Great Smoky Mountains National Park in Tennessee. He set out on an unmarked gravel road that he happened to come across which he was astonished to discover turned out to be the back entrance to an entire abandoned neighborhood, complete with a hotel. Luckily, he had brought along a camera and was able to video and photograph his adventure into the forgotten American town. The buildings featured in his video were part of a town called Elkmont that was built over 100 years ago and the hotel was called the Wonderland Club. And although the town of Elkmont was abandoned and largely forgotten, except by those locals and experienced hikers familiar with the area, it was not always this way. Elkmont used to be a popular spot for the wealthy families of nearby Knoxville and Asheville 
to come during the summer and escape from the stifling city heat into the relative cool of the shaded mountains. The town is not really a town so much as it is a community of cabins and vacation homes in the woods. These houses were built 20 years before the Great Smoky Mountains National Park was founded, and the park included the land that the cabins sat on. The families were allowed to lease from the park and keep their cabins for decades until the 1990s, when the National Park Service ended their leases and forced the hotel and tenants of the cabins to permanently lock their doors and move out. Although the area was only abandoned in the last 30 years, most of the cabins and homes are original to when Elkmont was first established in the early 1900s and are well over a century old. Although Lyles did not technically rediscover the interesting location, as park officials and locals knew about it and visited occasionally, the historic cabins and homes have sat vacant, abandoned and largely forgotten to the general public for decades. The few visitors that it gets these days are still a far cry from the bustling and welcoming home away from home that the town was used to experiencing in its peak. The National Park Service plans to preserve around 19 of the original 74 buildings at the site to protect some of the historical value of the vacation town that has sat abandoned for decades. In the meantime, Lyles developed the video footage that he took of his adventures into the town into a short documentary called Tennessee Wonderland, which went viral and alerted many people to the presence of an entire abandoned town hidden in the tranquil mountains in Tennessee. Lyle's video inspired many people to get out and discover what may lie hidden right under their noses in their towns or even in their very backyards. The Grand Canyon is missing a billion years worth of rocks. From studying the world around us today, we have come to learn much about the world that existed before us. Geology is one such way to discover more about what came before us. However, it has been found that about a billion years worth of rocks appeared to be missing from the Grand Canyon. Each layer of rock represents a different period in the Earth's history, and this loss tells us that we are missing 25% of the Earth's geographical history. The missing rocks are from a time known as the Great Unconformity, which refers to a gap in geological records spanning a billion years across the world. With this gap of missing time first discovered in 1869, it remains one of geology's greatest mysteries to this day. As the missing rock layer never deposited evidence in the Grand Canyon, we have no proof that those billion years even actually happened. Except that we can, adding further to the mystery. In some places, you can find rocks dating back to 1.4 to 1.8 billion years ago, sitting right next to a layer of rocks a mere 520 million years old. The gap in date origins proves that a billion years did go by. They just left no mark for some reason. There are, however, several coherent theories which attempt to explain the Great Unconformity and the Grand Canyon's missing history. Using new methods relying on a process called thermochronology, scientists can now use chemical analysis techniques to determine how much heat was stored in the rocks when they first formed. This heat then tells us how much pressure the rocks were under at the time of formation. From the data they gathered, they have now aligned the missing billion years to a period in which the ancient supercontinent Rodinia experienced a violent breakup of its landmass. These extreme disruptions to the Earth's tectonic plates at the time could explain a phenomenon which has been a mystery for so long. This discovery, along with natural erosion which would have occurred, suggests that the rocks from those billion years simply never had an opportunity to settle and stack like other layers from different times in history did. With the rocks at the Grand Canyon able to give us geological insight into life two billion years ago, Understanding what happened in that unaccounted billion years is extremely exciting, and there is no doubt more to learn. So, while the history behind all of the Great Unconformity is not yet completely explained, these theories go a long way to giving us hope that other parts of its mystery can soon be unearthed too. Oldest Known Human Footprints in North America Discovered at National Park up until this next discovery, archaeologists believed that humans first appeared in North America 11,000 to 13,000 years ago, 
basing this judgment on stone spears found scattered throughout the continent. However, they have now uncovered what is thought to be the oldest known human footprints in North America, dating back to a whopping 23,000 years ago during the Ice Age. That is a staggering 10 millennia before we thought humans had ever inhabited North America. Previously, it was thought that humans could not have expanded into the lands of America this far back in time, as massive glaciers, referred to as the last glacial maximum, would have greatly obstructed their path. The originally speculated dates made more sense, as 13,000 years ago humans would have been able to cross from Asia to North America once the Ice Age period was over and corridors were ice-free. The new archaeological find showcases 60 human footprints, being most likely those of children and teenagers it is thought, with the occasional adult print judging on sizes. The discovery also tells us more about how these settlers used to interact with each other. This revelation is set to completely upturn existing theories of past human existence and population patterns. Resources manager David Bustos found the footprints in White Sands National Park of New Mexico, and they were then analyzed using carbon dating techniques on embedded seeds found within them. It now calls into serious question the validity of previous estimates that humans first walked through North America 13,500 years ago. Instead, these theories have been revised to suggest that our predecessors could have crossed from Asia to the Americas as early as 26,000 to 19,000 years ago. Thinking more about where the footprints were found, it is thought that two ancient Apache trails used to cross what is now the National Park. The descendants of the original Apache settlers are referred to as Mescalero Apache. While it is a hugely game-changing discovery, Bustos reminds us that it is also sad to think of how much other insight we could have lost to soil erosion in the area. Nonetheless, the discovery shows not only how far we have come in terms of scientific progress, but that sites such as this national park still have a wealth of history waiting to be found if we can preserve their contents well enough. Strongest Mars Quakes Yet Discovered by NASA's InSight Lander Now leaving behind the remarkable discoveries we can find here on our own planet, similar fascinating findings have been made on our neighbor Mars. On September 18th, InSight Mars Lander's 1000th day on the surface of the Red Planet, the rover detected one of the biggest Mars quakes yet, with an estimated magnitude of 4.2, and even more impressively, it shook the ground for almost 90 whole minutes, making it also the longest recorded Mars quake to date. Similar quakes had been recorded a month ago in August. With magnitudes of 4.2 and 4.1, these Mars quakes all make for revolutionary discoveries, as they have five times the energy of InSight's previous record holder, which was a 3.7 quake recorded in 2019. It is wondered by some whether these are truly the largest Mars quakes out there or if we simply have not been able to pick up on others, perhaps due to lack of equipment or simply because in the grand scheme of things we have not been exploring Mars for that long. Regardless, this is an even more fascinating discovery because InSight nearly would have missed it due to some unfortunate circumstances in its orbit. Being solar-powered, InSight faced some difficulties when Mars's highly elliptical orbit took it further away from the Sun for a prolonged period of time. Low temperatures and dust buildup further worsened conditions for the spacecraft, meaning NASA had to turn off certain instruments to conserve energy. Extremely luckily for us is that they decided to keep the seismometer on even throughout these challenging times. It makes for an even more exciting discovery that thanks to the teams at NASA we did not miss out on. But what do you make of these interesting recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.